Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's the email in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing an early FP Journe Octo Automatique. 38 millimeters in rose gold with rose gold matte dial. The timepiece measures 10.2 millimeters thick, 44.8 millimeters lug to lug, and 20 millimeters between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and get a good look at the size. It's not as petite as a mid-century, 20th century dress watch would be, so it's not 32 to 36 millimeters, but at 38, it has a nice traditional feel and aesthetic on a modern wrist. The timepiece is suitable for male or female, as well as those who have a taste for discretion. It's thin enough to fit underneath any dress cuff, and you can see both down the barrel and over the top, these lugs are nowhere near the edge of my wrist. I could recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference. Alligator leather, navy blue, medium rectangular scales on the top, monotone stitch with a folded edge. You can see small round scale on the bottom. That's done to make the strap more durable as gator on the bottom is more expensive, but longer lasting than the calfskin usually used on the underside of straps. The lugs are drilled close to the case, so the pivot points of the straps are actually far inboard at the tips of the lugs. This allows it to wear well on a small wrist and a curved spring bar is used so that, that strap drilled close can move without any impediment against the case. Of course, this is a strap that's far newer than the watch itself because it uses Jorn's pull tab spring bars and it has that gator on the bottom. These little pull tabs allow you to remove the strap without tools. And a matching Jorn manufactured rose gold pin buckle. The case is entirely of high polish and rose gold with a domed bezel, blended integrated lugs, an overlapping lip of the bezel and the case back forming the mid case. And then you can see sharply tucked and spare tapering lugs with the characteristic knurled and double dimple Jorn crown. The dial, a matte rose gold, you can see that it has a little bit of a color gradient across its surface as these early Jorn dials tend to have a number of different varnishing techniques applied, which from watch to watch results in a little bit of a patina that differs from example to example over the years. You can see though all of the expected elements are in place and in excellent condition. You have the 120 hour indicated power reserve. That's for chronometry and accurate timekeeping. In fact, the watch will run for 160 hours. You have a black polished steel bezel framing the hours, minutes, and seconds, a double digit disc with a quick set for the date. And then we have the Jorn side bolts. And these dial side bolts on Jorn watches were something of a styling heresy back when he first proposed this design in 1999. Today, highly influential and widely copied and still a signature of FP Jorn timepieces. On the reverse side, we have the first generation of the Octa Caliber 1300, which was Jorn's first automatic movement. You can see this is the brass movement era as we have rhodium plated bridges and plates. Brass, less valuable as a commodity, but more valuable as a collectible than the later rose gold as there are fewer of these watches. You can also see that the watch includes the maker's mark of Eleanor and French hallmarks alongside the Swiss precious metal hallmarks. These cases were made in France. Eleanor from the first Jorn pocket watch in 1983 until about mid-2008 made these cases for Jorn. After that, he bought the company and moved it to Geneva as his own case maker. You can see that the watch features a 22 carat rose gold mask that's been cut with a Grand Doge barley corn pattern on a real rose lace, so that's true guilloche. You have a uh, Bi-directional winding system, as these early octas were bi-directional winders rather than unidirectional, so it doesn't have a free wheel the way, say, a Valjoux 7750 would. It's a big balance with a lot of mass that beats way at 21,600 vibrations per hour, free sprung for durability and precise adjustment, and adjusted in a high horology standard five positions. The watch also features a quick set for the date, which allows you to rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. And of course, the timepiece is 30 meters water resistant, but this timepiece is far too beautiful to be horsing around in the pool. So reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.